There's sawdust everywhere. Hello, and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Anna, and today we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to go on a little drive, and we're going to find a bookcase. That's right, I saw one on my way home today when I was driving on my scooter. It was just sitting on the side of the road saying, Come take me home. Find me a place to live. So I am going there to rescue that bookcase, and I brought my sidekick the banana. Wish us luck! So that cabinet on the road didn't work out. Sigh. It was gross. It was a gross cabinet. It was heavy, and I think it was heavy because it was full of water. So it was a no-go. But there was an extra bookshelf in the main building that the amazing Michael O'Neill let me have. And check it out. What? It is serving as the frame for my countertop kitchen area and in that corner right there will be all my electrical with the battery. <laughs> so today is Friday of a three day weekend because it's Labor Day. Uh, Labor Day weekend. So I am going to fill, hopefully, this spot with a cabinet, this spot with a cabinet, and then that, that, that ceiling over there on Monday. We're going to put that ceiling back in. So, lots of work that's going to get done. Lots of shopping. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so I just want to say that I have a new favorite store now, and it's called Habitat for Humanity. My goodness, check out what I got. Wow, panorama. Chicka, 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 chicka. Ah! I know it's super exciting from this angle, but this piece was the one I was showing you earlier that I got from uh, inside the house that Michael let me have. This piece is uh, just like a really rickety bookcase that was only one dollar. That's pretty phenomenal. Um, the other piece uh, was $46, but look at it. Whoa. Okay, let's get a better angle. Look at it. It's on its side right now, but look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh -huh. Cabinets. The next step is to put them in. Let's do it. Yeah. My shop skills have definitely improved since 8th grade shop class. Mr. Coughlin, you would be proud. Okay, look at this. Look at how it fits! <laughs> look at my new countertop! It's even got places right here for the wires to come in. And it's got a little cubby hole here. So then I can have a water system right here. And I can empty it out the door. Look at how much I took off. Yes, this piece here. I took off that much. It's 11 inches and uh, 9 sixteenths 
11 and 9 16 inches of wood. I amaze myself. Day one, folks. Two more to go. Welcome to day two! So I just spent the last six and a half hours working on my van. Didn't take any footage. Sorry. Uh, so let me just show you what I did. So this actually I did last night. Um, I took a bit out of the back and a bit out of the corner. This was so then it would lie flat against the wall because my wall curves. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I also did this today. Similar process. Took a little bit out of the side and the top. And I also took a bunch off of the bottom so then it lay flat. And then whoop, pew, took some out of the back of here as well because of that curve. And then also the gas tank. Hi, gas tank. Uh, yeah, listen to that. Mm. It doesn't drag on the floor anymore. That's a score. I also worked some more on my counter. So you can see I added a back to it. I also added these panels. So this in here is going to be for my water. This one is going to be for who knows what. And then there's a little top up here. Wow, where my battery lives, right behind the driver's seat. Hello, driver's seat. Um, I also put this counter on. It's covered in a bunch of tools and stuff. Yay! And something I am particularly excited about is this. Ta -da! Made a little door. Pew! So again, this leads to my water area. Um, the idea is, whoa, super awkward handoff. You definitely saw my hand too. The idea is that I'm going to have my water in here. And then when there's an opportunity for it, I can open this up and just dump the gross gray water onto the ground. Um, and then I wouldn't have to take the bucket out because I'm smart. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then it just closes like that. And then, you know, these areas over here are all going to have cabinet covers, doors, <laughs> they're called doors, cabinet doors, yep, yeah. Um, so I still have the ceiling to do, which I'm going to do tomorrow, um, because Michael's available to help me with that, and ceiling's kind of a two-person job. So none of the cabinetry is actually screwed down yet, because I want to get the ceiling in before I put the countertop in, and the countertop has to go in before the nice cabinet. Um, I guess a bookcase I could do whatever to, but I just want to add shelves and stuff. Um, maybe some more wall pieces behind it. But yeah, tomorrow, day three. This is going to be a long video. Wow. Yeah, it's day three, and uh, let me show you what I did because we're losing light. So let's do this fast. Wow. So as you can see, the final ceiling piece is in. Beautiful. Also, all of these cabinetry pieces are bolted into place. That's right. I don't know if you can see. I might have to come back. Yeah, it's too dark. But, whoop look at that. I finished off the, the walls over there as well. Bolted everything down to the floor. Whoa, it's really dark in here. I hope you're getting some of this. You can see I used some of these lovely bracket pieces to make sure that the cabinets don't shift around today put the back in this I put two really amazing shelves in this bookcase yes yes all right Woo. heading out of the van so I'll have to give you a better tour next time but that is the end of day three. Oh my gosh what an amazing weekend Things are shaping up really fast. Next we have uh, the, the little stool that I get to sit on, my desk, the bed, doing some sanding. Yeah. All right, see you next week. Oh! I bought sandpaper and I left it at Home Depot.